In 2012, the Indonesian government granted its fourth eco-restoration license. The license, covering a 20,000 hectare conservation project, will be managed by a new not-for-profit organisation called RER, Restorasi Ecosystem Riau. The conservation reserve is located on the Kampar Peninsula in Riau province, eastern Sumatra. It contains ecologically important peat forests through which the picturesque Sangar River flows. Some of these forests are well protected and largely intact, but others are facing serious degradation. The reserve will protect part of the peninsula core, an area particularly sensitive to impacts. In Sumatra, Areas like these are under constant threat. Illegal logging continues to decimate them and human encroachment has major impacts. People hungry for land are clearing forested areas to establish small palm oil farms, often using slash and burn methods. Forest scientist John Bathgate has lived and worked in Riau province for 12 years. The core of the Kampar Peninsula is particularly important. It's a complex of raised peat domes, elevated uh, plateaus, which we call bog plains, and blackwater lakes. This restoration is a long-term project. The peat swamp forest system is not going to spring back to its original state overnight. RER represents a new private capital collaborative model for eco-restoration. Backed by April Indonesia, RER has access to the substantial resources and expertise needed to complete this large-scale, multi-decade project. April has developed practical on-the-ground experience in protecting and managing delicate peat forest ecosystems. Local people are essential to this eco-restoration and local communities will have meaningful, valuable involvement. RER will receive input from partners and an eminent advisory board, representing a diverse range of skills and perspectives. This project is the first stage of a vision for protecting the entire peat dome area of the Kampar Peninsula. If successful, it will establish new best practice approaches in peat forest eco-restoration and demonstrate another way to protect Indonesia's more sensitive forest areas.